When BP announced this weekend that it had succeeded in getting a thin siphon tube into the gushing oil pipe on the seabed of the Gulf, the heads of the Department of Homeland Security and the Interior Department made sure immediately that everybody knew there was no real cause for celebration. They put out a statement that said it was, quote, not a solution to the problem. They also said, quote, we will not rest until BP permanently seals up the wellhead, the spill is cleaned up, and the communities and natural resources of the Gulf Coast are restored and made whole. Got that? Bucko? That was this weekend. Then today, Janet Napolitano back in the spotlight on Capitol Hill answering questions from senators about the government's response to the BP disaster. So that's how the current Homeland Security Secretary spent her day. Meanwhile, a would-be Homeland Security Secretary spent his day reporting to federal prison. President Bush's pick to lead Homeland Security for the whole country was Bernie Carrick, you may remember, back in 2004. Bernie Carrick reported to a federal prison in Maryland this afternoon after pleading guilty to eight felony charges, including tax fraud and lying to White House officials when he got that big cabinet official nomination. Mr. Carrick's sentencing judge gave him 15 more months than prosecutors had asked for, lambasting Mr. Carrick at the sentencing for using his 9-11 experiences for personal gain. So in the end, Bernie Carrick won't get to run a federal agency of 230,000 employees, which George W. Bush tried to appoint him to do. He will instead spend four years as federal prisoner number 84888-054. Also, the jail that Rudy Giuliani tried to name after Bernie Carrick in Lower Manhattan has had to be renamed as well. Very awkward. We'll be right back.